Hi, I'm Matt. Hey there, I'm Bianca. And in this episode, we're talking about being jealous of other couples in the lifestyle. So keep watching. Being jealous in the lifestyle is, of course, a normal, common thing, but it's yeah. usually being jealous of you right. and what you're doing or who you're playing with or something yeah. along those lines. That's yeah. very, very common lifestyle. But there's this other aspect of the lifestyle that actually isn't talked about too much. Yeah. Uh, we're actually, we're surprised that we, we, I don't think we've ever talked about this in all these years we've been doing this, but it's everyone runs into this, including us, yeah. um, where you play with someone, you have a great time, you on. want to do it again and again and again and again and again and, again, <laughs> and, again, and they go and play with someone else. How dare they? Yeah. And then you get jealous of them uh, yeah. or I guess the other couple that it would be <laughs> that's playing with them. That's playing with them. Uh, and, and, and everyone we've ever talked to says they run into this. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and it's, it's interesting because I know over the years we have absolutely run into it and I think we've been on both sides. Oh, totally. Totally. I, I think, I think everybody is. Um, I, I think oftentimes because we tend to also play with a lot of new couples uh, now or have been recently, uh, that when you're new that you run into that more, just like with any jealousy that you kind of have to grow into it. Yeah. Uh, uh, because when your lifestyle, when you're brand new, you might get jealous of your spouse and all that kind of stuff. And those things happen a lot early on and you just kind of work your way through them and figure out how you're supposed to feel or how, how you should feel or work your way through the jealousy. Uh, it's the same type of thing. And so when you meet a couple and you're brand new and you hit it off and you're like, Oh my God, best sex ever. That was such an amazing party. I want to play with them every single time I see them and da, 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 da. And you get to the party, you're talking with them, and suddenly they're talking to somebody else, and then they disappear into the back, and you're like, ah, oh. and you're like, like, like upset, not not upset like boohoo type upset, but just along the lines of, I thought we had something, yeah. and 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 you feel almost rejected. You feel almost rejected, and it's not that at all. I mean, I guess it could be sure. if they if they didn't have a good time. I guess sure they, that might be like, oh, it was fine, but we're good. Or sometimes people only like to play with a couple once. Yeah, yeah, that that is definitely a thing, but that's also something that you can have a conversation with them about. Sure. Um, uh, but more often than not, people in the lifestyle. Their goal, more more people than not, their goal is to play with quantity of people over time. Not necessarily, yeah, not necessarily tonight. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, I, I you meet a nice couple, you connect, do all the things, and you want to play with them, right. and that's perfectly fine. And and if you only play with one couple a month or one couple a year or, or ten times a night, whatever it might be for your speed, that's what it is. Uh, um, and so you you almost you just can't feel like they're mine. Uh, we, we, we talk about, uh, one of the very first couples that we played with, uh, was actually kind of the, you know, the opposing side of that where they were, they were actually, actually, this was our first full swap that we did. And so mm -hmm. quite a few years ago, uh, and, and they were a bit older than us and, uh, they really enjoyed their time with us, understandably. Uh, and, uh, understandably, I love that because you know, cause whatever, <laughs> cause, cause you're so hot and, and, uh, and I was acceptable enough. So yeah. Um, and, uh, we saw them at a, a house party, you know, a week or two later, and uh, we're talking to this other couple, and we're hitting it off with this other couple. They're super hot. We're connecting and all that. And then this couple that we had played with came over, and they were just kind of all over. It's touchy feely, all that kind of stuff. And we were good. We, we didn't have that much interest in playing with them again. Uh, but but they were just so on top of us because they really, really did that the other couple that we were hitting it off with, you know, walked away. And we actually saw them later on, and they said said that uh, that uh, they thought we were all a quad because right. we were just so close together and we're like, oh, they totally cock blocked us. Uh, and, you know, that is it is what it is. It yeah. is what it is. Um, but that was that same type of thing is sometimes you get a couple that you're like, oh, my gosh, I I cannot wait to play with them again. It was such an amazing experience. And sometimes it's one of you and sometimes it's both of you. When you're new, it definitely if you hit it off with another couple, that's a great feeling. It's exciting. You can't wait to do it again. You yeah. know that the second time that you play with someone, it's going to be better than the first because you kind of have figured out a little bit what they like, what they don't like. You kind of you know, oh, my gosh, I had such a good experience. The odds are I'm going to have a better experience this time. You want to play with them again. However, they might not feel the same way or they might feel the same way, but just not tonight because they just connected with this other couple over here. And and that's OK that they do that. Uh, uh, you can't look at it like, wow, they don't want to play with me ever again. Well, and I think as the couple that is going off like 
let's say you played with this couple, you had a great time, you hit it off, you guys are like, ooh, this is great. Um, if you guys meet up at another party and one of the couples decides, I, you know, I want to meet someone new tonight, it's okay to tell that other couple, hey, we really like you, we love playing with you, we want to do it again, but tonight we just kind of want to see what else is out there. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's there's nothing wrong with being honest. And then that's something I've said before, like with catch and release, like you're releasing that other couple out there. They're not going to waste their time trying to get you to the back when you're wanting to focus on meeting someone new. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So neither of you are going to waste your time. Sure. So being open and honest with your plans for the evening is not a bad thing. Right. Because we definitely have had many situations over the years where uh, we hit it off with a couple, we play with them and, and they're like, Oh, you guys are going to the club Saturday or you're going to this event or something like that. Like, let's do this thing and are very, you know, have their blinders on because they really, really want to play with us again. And we, we might, but we also want to leave our options open mm -hmm. because you never know you're at a different event, that type of thing. And there's nothing wrong with planning play. I think that's not a bad idea, but there's also a hundred other factors why someone might not want to play tonight or plan that. Mm -hmm. um, um, but one of, one of those reasons could very well be, I'm just leaving my options open. Yeah. Uh, it's not, it's nothing against you. I just want to play with lots of people. Well, and we have plans play before when like, for example, we have friends that come out of town mm -hmm. and we all meet up at the club. Yeah. And while we're very excited to play with those people, you know, then you'll see someone else, you know, swingers are mostly kind of like, you know, well, talk, 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 squirrel. <laughs> yeah. Those were some great tips. Yeah. You know? uh -huh. right. Let me go over here and talk to this person for a minute. And so, you know, making a plan is fine, but it's okay to change plans a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, or play early with this couple and then go meet up with that couple later or whatever. Sure. So. Sure. Okay. So how should you feel if you start to feel jealous this way? What should you do? I think talking it out. I think first talking it out with your partner okay. and saying, you know, I don't know why, but I'm like having these jealous feelings. Like when I see that they're playing with someone else at the club, I'm mm -hmm. wondering like what's wrong with me and then figuring out your feelings together because talking the two of you, you might overcome them just by talking it out. Um, or you might decide, okay, well we are feeling this way. Explore. Why are you feeling this way? Is it that, those people that you've met, that couple, is your comfort zone, and are you afraid of stepping out of your comfort zone? You know, is it just that you know that you're guaranteed a good time, you're guaranteed good play with them, so why keep looking for other people? Right. What is the root of the jealousy? Right. You might feel that you had the, the, the most amazing connection and that they felt that way too, and now they're off looking and talking to some other couple. Maybe they didn't feel that. Right. That could be true. It could be completely wrong. Yeah. They might have had the greatest time with you as well, uh, but they're just talking to another couple yeah. and and yeah. hitting it off with another couple or off playing with another couple. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you're not uh, you, unless you have some sort of agreement with them that right. we're you we're the only people that are going to play with each other. We're a closed quad, uh, which is very unusual. Mm -hmm. um, but it does exist. But it's generally people that have been together dating for a while. Right. I mean, we've seen that a handful of times in the last over a decade that we've been doing this, but it does exist. Mm -hmm. uh, more often than not, people just are kind of like, if I play, I play. If I don't, I don't. I'm, I'm always kind of keeping my options open for the amazing people that I might meet. Yeah. If I hit it off with someone, I'm absolutely going to go forward uh, with playing with them because that's what this hobby is about. Yeah. Uh, and and you, you can't feel bad about it unless you know that's really what happened. If, yeah. if, 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 if uh, you, you ask them to play in there and they say something like, we just didn't feel it. Mm hmm. Okay. First of all, you're going to feel bad, no matter how nice they say that, yeah. um, um, because you thought it was the greatest thing ever. Um, but that's okay because there's another couple right over there and another one over there and another one over there and another one over there. And three or four behind you. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and really you just kind of have to look at it like that, that yeah. it's just like, the, and it's, what's nice is that if you can have a great time with a couple, and you're like, oh my God, that was the best experience ever. Now your job is to find another couple even better than that one. Yeah. Um, because there have been, I mean, we've been doing this a long time and there have been some couples that both of us connected with really, really well. And we were like, oh my gosh, that was the most amazing thing ever. I can't wait to do it again. And they couldn't wait to do it again. And we're, we're doing all the things, uh, but they live on the other side of the country or whatever it might be, or they, or they, step, away or they step away from lifestyle or a million other things that happen. Yeah. Uh, and, and, uh, and, it, and it sucks, but those are 
the kind of the things you want to be looking for. Yeah. Because when you do make those good connections, you want to do it again and again and again because you do know that the sex is going to improve uh, mm-hmm. after the first time. Plus, it's so great to have like really good friends with benefits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you know, being jealous is just, it, just like with being jealous of your spouse playing with someone else. It's one of those things that you do want to internalize why you feel this way you know what was 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 that other couple so absolutely amazing that they're one of a kind uh, no no i mean the answer the answer is yeah. no i mean i in in the, in the same vein as you know uh, oftentimes people will say like with 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 a with a couple or with or, you know with your your significant other you're the only one in the world for me mm-hmm. you know you're you were, we're one one in seven billion and it's like but realistically, seven billion is a pretty big number. Uh, and, <laughs> Wait, <what are> you <laughs> and so I'm, th- there's no one as amazing as you, but there's probably someone just right below that oh, level. Right below. Pretty low. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that, and, and that's, you know, that, and that's just kind of the same vibe with, with lifestyle people. I, I, I can't think of a single situation over all these years where someone was so absolutely amazing that I was just like depressed yeah. that I was never going to play with them again, yeah. because I do know that that around the corner there is going to be someone else and that around the corner could be five years from now yeah. um uh and it's just like you know you do have to kiss a lot of frogs or whatever but uh, that uh fun. <laughs> that's right <laughs> right that's, uh, the fun is in is in the is in the adventure uh, not the, not the destination that's right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so <laughs> i like that actually that's right so yeah your goal is to find someone exactly just like them but or even better than them uh that that wants to play with you again and again and again uh and 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 it's it's all gonna be happy it's all gonna be good yeah. it's all gonna be uh, but i think it just comes down to exploring why you're feeling the way you are and then figuring out with your spouse how you can remedy that. I mean, you should be talking with your spouse about every single situation you have in lifestyle. Yeah. You should, after you've been playing, you should see, say, oh my God, that was the greatest couple ever. Yes, weren't they? Oh my gosh, they're amazing. Can't wait to do it again. And then if it doesn't work out or, or you know, they're just, they don't feel like it again or they don't feel like it that night, just be like, oh, that's a bummer. Um, but, uh, well, maybe we'll find someone else yeah. and just and just be optimistic that way. And if it doesn't work out that night because you're kind of bummed or it just doesn't work out for a million other reasons tomorrow will be better or the next week will be better and and and, or even better than that next week they might be available and are like yes we were just as excited as 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 you guys were uh let's do it again and uh try not to let it ruin your night yeah 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 because life's too short and and there are there are so many lifestyle couples out there that you are going to have a good time and find people that you connect with uh just by looking just Mm -hmm. by just by looking and just by being out there and putting yourself out there that it's you're you're going to find those other couples that are amazing and and jealousy is is totally natural totally normal um but you just have to kind of work through it and you'll realize that it's it's so no big deal yeah. it's so no big deal especially after you've been doing this a little while you will run into that a few times here and there and and it kind of sucks uh but uh it, it is what it is people have their own lives and maybe someone didn't connect with you as much as uh you connected with them yeah. totally okay yeah. totally okay yeah. And speaking of other things that are actually even better than totally okay, what you need to do right now is go to www.clubsapphire.net. Check out all the amazing events that Club Sapphire is putting on in the next few months. There are some great, great parties that are happening. And of course, you know, with New Year's coming up, obviously you want to make sure that you do uh, book that one because it does sell out. Halloween does sell out. And, and, uh, and of course, there's just every night of the week, practically every night of the week, there's something else going on, uh, including some really cool new events that are that are on their website so you do want to check them out again www.clubsapphire.net anything else you want to say no i think we covered it all right well thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time Bye bye